west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. One west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. Welcome to Right Talk with Mike Lee. I have some special guests this evening with me. Some of my favorite brothers, actually. Uh, I think Yata Zak called me earlier and said he, he said he heard I was having special guests this evening. I said, yes, yeah, you. <laughs> anyway, uh, these, these gentlemen are from the, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. I've been taught, we've, they've been on my show before, and uh, I enjoy having them on the show because they in, inform and educate me, as I hope this show can help inform and educate you. And I love learning. Now, one of the things that uh, Yata Zak and I have been talking about for about a week, uh, about a week is my concern. I think most of my audience would know that one of the, the two pet peeves I have, I believe that's what's good for the black community is good for the community. I believe that first of all. Now, if, if you had the chance to look at my Facebook page, you know I raised a lot of cane on Facebook. Hmm. There's some things that I actually, that I think are actually true and that ha have happened in my lifetime. It's happened before my eyes. I have seen... African Americans, and I make a distinction, a distinction between African Americans and black people. I'm a black man. African Americans were made by these little white folks. Right. Black black men re recognize their, their 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 ancient roots, their African roots, their black roots, and um, and that's why on Facebook I describe myself as a free black man. I'm not an African American. I just am not. Right. Now I don't know how these gentlemen feel about that, but I've been speaking with them about. <clears throat> How lost African Americans seem to be, particularly politically. Mm -hmm. It's like they've lost their minds. You, 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 you have, you have. I actually call them fake black people. I, I call them fake black people also. <laughs> I think Af African Americans, especially the politicians, support abortion. They oppose school prayer. Now, my mom, I came up. My man, my parents were a pair of ex Mississippi sharecroppers. And the idea of just being opposed to prayer is, is just, it's just crazy, man. It's like being opposed to God. Right. Now, I, I was, a, I was a, the way I was raised, I thought pray anywhere at all, at all times, really. But now we have so-called evolved as such a nation that we are, we are so sophisticated and smart that we, don't, we, don't, we, are, we oppose prayer. That's insane to me. And so that gets back to what I was talking to Dr. Zach about, about it's as though African Americans, as a collective, has lost has lost their collective minds. They are lost. If you if you can, if you can, if you can politically vote Democrat on Tuesday after going to church on Sunday, you you weren't listening on Sunday. You were just paying lip service. You were just sitting there. Your body was there, but your mind must have been your mind must have been, been sitting on your mind. No, they was listening. They were listening. They they were listening to the music. Right. They weren't in there doing no learning. So they were in there listening. But go ahead, I didn't mean to I mean, we have insanity going on. We have they have same sex marriage. Right. That's insane. Right. Well And I told I told someone that. Okay, they got same sex marriage now. Pretty soon they're gonna be married. Horses, mules, they, uh -huh. kids. Right. And lately I read I read something last week. They were saying uh, they want to expand the LGBTQ movement to include people who are pedophiles. Right. They're uh they're what is it? Man, Man, men attracted to children. Yeah, they, they, they want that to pass it off as normal now. And I'm a, I'm a Morocco Hamma basher, and I got my reasons. I can spell them all out. But my, it's real simple. Anyone who promotes perversion can't be right. Period. And that's and to me, as far as I'm concerned, that presidency. That's what that's what this is all about. You have a president of the United States worried about who used the bathroom where. Who cares? Now again, now, my, my, I sent these guys a prayer that I, that I had sent. Uh, that was read in Kansas mm -hmm. uh, early, I think last week, early last week. They tell us that we have lost our spiritual equilibrium, and I sent them this prayer because it kind of summarizes really what's going on. It says we have lost our spiritual equilibrium and reversed our values. We have ridiculed the absolute truth of your word and called it pluralism. Mm. We have worshipped other gods and called it multiculturalism. We have endorsed perversion and called it alternate lifestyle. We have exploited the poor and called it the lottery. We have rewarded laziness and called it welfare. We have killed our unborn and called it choice. 
We have shot abortionists and called it justifiable. We have neglected to discipline our children and, and called it building self-esteem. We have abused power and, and called it politics. We have embezzled public funds and called it essential expenses. We have institutionalized bribery and called it suites of office. We have coveted our neighbors', neighbors possessions and called it ambition. We have polluted their profanity and pornography and called it freedom of expression. We have ridiculed the time-honored values of our forefathers and called it enlightenment. Search us, O God, and know our hearts today. Cleanse us from every sin and set us free. Amen. This is a prayer that was said before the Kansas, before the Kansas legislature. And a lot of pe some people got up and walked out on it. But to me, that very event underscores how out of touch too many people are with just their common sense. Right. If I could, sir, you you said so much. Right? <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I'll be all day just answering everything you just said. So let's just start with Hosea 4 and 6. Call on the one call, sir. We're going to let the scriptures say it, then we're going to explain to you what the scriptures say. saying. Go ahead. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You see, it says, my people. Uh -huh. The first thing you have to understand is, we don't care about everybody because the Lord don't care about everybody else. Right. You got to understand that the problem with our people is that we don't care about our rules and our guidelines. What you, everything that you're talking about right here really applies to us because abortion is pushed on us. Homosexuality is pushed on us. All of this stuff really applies to black people. Mm -hmm. You know, white people have to worry about welfare and all of those misjustices and all those things that go on in the community. Mm -hmm. We're the ones that have to worry about that. So the scripture said, my people are destroyed from the lack of knowledge. You ask the white man where he come from, he going to go back three or four generations. And when you said that you were black American or that you are a free black man, 22. that's just another God. way of showing how lost we are. Mm -hmm. right. Because you are not black. Black is just a color. You know what I'm saying? It's a color out of a Crayola box. You, you're not going to find black, you know what I'm saying, as anyone's nationality. Mm -hmm. Just think about it. Chinese people, you don't say yellow. You know what I mean? No. Mm -hmm. Arabs don't say dark brown. Right. So why is it our black? Why are we black? That's, that's talking about our condition. That's right. Man. That's what black is. You know what I'm saying? African American, we can't be from two different continents. You know what I'm saying? That's like saying, basically what we're saying is, if I was born in the Pacific Ocean, I'm a Pacifican. Because that's where I was born at. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. No, man. What it is is we have a nationality. We have a culture. We, have, we actually right. have a nation, but we don't subscribe to it. We don't follow that. And that's why we so destroyed, because if we knew better, we would do better. What you got for me? Uh, kind of the one kind of, I got Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. Read that. For my people is foolish. Mm -hmm. They have not known me. Mm -hmm. They are Scottish children. Scottish, so, yeah. uh, Scottish children. Scottish, Salakia. meaning into homosexuality. That's because our people are destroyed. We are learning from homos how to be homos. Mm -hmm. Period. That's not in our nature. We are warriors. Na naturally warriors. But we are learning the ways of the heathens. So now we act like heathens. Everything that we do, we're doing what the common man do. We're not common. Right. Look at the sports. Taste food. You know what I mean? Without blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because we are the same people. Mm -hmm. You got to look at it from a, just a common sense. Since we're talking about mm -hmm. common sense, that's why our school is called the Israelite School of Universal and Practical Knowledge. That's right. Because it's common sense. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going through the same oppression. We're going through the same rape, rob, and murder. We're being put in jails. We have the, the highest rate of rape, murder, theft, all of that. The, the diabetes, the AIDS, all of these things are only attached to our people. So crime and disease is primarily a problem for us. It's us. It's our problem. Kurt. Chinese people don't have a problem with diabetes. and I, Chinese people don't have to worry about getting food to eat right. because they can pick up a frog off the sidewalk and eat it because they don't have a dietary law. See, the problem with our people is we have a preamble to the Constitution. We have a Gettysburg Address. We have a Declaration of Independence, which is in this Bible. This is our Declaration of Independence. 
our preamble. You know, our Gettysburg Address. Now, but now, we don't follow it. Now, Yatsa, Yatsa, here's the hard part for me. Mm -hmm. Is when I go to church, I'm actually listening, trying to learn. And when I hear verses and stuff like that, I try to think of how this could apply to me, right. how I can use and things like that. But in, in say, for, say for example, my baby brother. Right now, I think he's sort of conflicted between being an agnostic and an atheist. I know he has to, and I think that's it's something that we all can go to at advanced points in time. Right. Depending on what's happening in our lives. Mm -hmm. But uh, to me, when you reject, when my baby brother can tell me that you can, that, that gender is a choice, and I know you, my baby brother, we, we slept in the same bed going on. Right. Something's wrong in your head. Right. That's yeah. a mental illness. That is because Christians don't believe in the Bible. And actually, you're going to church to hear about the Bible, mm -hmm. but they're not actually teaching the Bible in church. They are giving you a show, a song and a dance. Mm -hmm. There's more singing than scripture pulling. You're going to hear more scriptures tonight than you heard in 20 years in church. You know why? Because they're not actually teaching you the Bible in church. Read what they say. God of all kind. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 56, verse 10. His watchmen are blind. What is a watchman supposed to do? A watchman is supposed to look out for the people. Our leadership is blind. Read. They are all ignorant. And they, some of them are ignorant. They are all ignorant. Read. <laughs> they them. are all dumb dogs. They are, this, is, this is not Officer Yadazak saying it. This is what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. These people that we have over us, they are ignorant. They are dumb. Read. They cannot bark. And they are not warning you. They're not looking out for you. They're not barking and telling you that it's danger. They're not telling you to separate from these other nations. Because if you turn on the news, who's getting killed by the police? Do you see any, any Arabs being shot down by the nope. police? What about, what about uh, Ch Japanese people and Chinese? You don't see Asians? Asians? You don't see them getting shot down. What about Africans? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen an African get shot down by the police? But they're black. <laughs> the, one, the ones I know who've immigrated here from like the Nigeria, Ghana, and other places, they're busy making money. They're busy adopt, uh, embracing American values and trying to make money and take care of their families and holding on to family values. Right. And, and that's another reason I say that as a collective, African Americans, black people, whatever you want to call them, have lost their minds. See, that's what we're trying to explain. What I'm trying to explain to you is that they are, read that part again. Khan of the one Khan. The last part. Uh, they cannot bark, mm -hmm. sleeping lying down, loving to slumber. You have, you have a shepherd that's watching over you that is asleep. So that's why we're being killed. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are being killed because our leaders are asleep. Mm -hmm. And they love to sleep. Read the next verse. Count on the one con. Verse 11, Isaiah 56, verse 11. Yea, they are greedy dogs. What's, what, what's wrong with them? They are greedy dogs. Greed? Right. which can never have enough. You can mm. go in the church with your income tax check and they're going to tell you, see you next week. Same thing, next week. You, you're never going to please them. They can never have enough. Keep reading. God on the one con. They are shepherds that cannot understand. And then you're trying to go to church for understanding. But they don't understand. So they can't pass it on to you. They can't. The, the dumb can't teach the dumb. You understand? The blind mm -hmm. can't lead the blind. Right. Except, and, except Stevie Wonder led a march. <laughs> <laughs> and what is that done? What is marching doing for us? <laughs> when I saw that, I had to laugh. I thought, the blind leading the blind for real. Real. The blind leading the blind. Oh, for real. And that was, you know what white people were doing at home? Laughing. Yeah. They were laughing at you. They were saying exactly that. Yeah. Look, the blind leading the blind. That was a joke to them. And you know what? We was like, man, we in the march leading by, led by Stevie Wonder, the great. It, it was a joke from the beginning. That's right. And that's, that's because Al Sharpton ain't doing nothing. That's because Jesse Jackson ain't doing nothing. Cornell X, they not doing nothing. They only doing it for money. They're greedy. Yeah. These people, um, T.D. Jake said something the other day. T.D. <laughs> Jake said that his, his mindset is evolving on homosexuality. What? It's, e it's evolving. So that means when pedophilia come into what? play, T.D. Jakes, yes, a false prophet. He said 
that his mindset is evolving on homosexuality. So he's with homosexuality. So when they start with pedophilia, it's going to evolve to pedophilia. Mm -hmm. it's, the LGBT community is going to be the A, B, C, D, E, F, G community by the time the white men get through with it. You're going to be able to do whatever you want to do. I seen a post the other day with white men having sex with pigs. Right. <laughs> That's right. It's, that's, it's because we are living in hell. These people that we're looking at, they don't have rules. That's no. what I was trying to explain. They don't have a guideline to keep them in order. The, the American law says you can be a homosexual. <clears throat> that's what the, that's what the yeah. it is a law that says you can be a homosexual. You know, when I, when I was in high school, they, they, that's when they started calling you music, talking about do your thing, do your own thing. Mm -hmm. But do your own thing has become do any anything. Do anything. Anything. Right, because this is hell. This is Babylon. That's right. We, mm. we are doing everything that we want to do. Now, the Bible tells us exactly what we can and cannot do. But the Bible is not for everybody. So if you understand the Bible, the thing about the Bible is, being that this is our constitution, this is our laws, this law was only given to us to keep. Right. So it's like a, a parent and, and children. If your mother tells you and your brother to be in the house by the time the street lights come mm -hmm. on, then who's getting the whooping? The kids on the street or you and your brother? But you know, you know, you know what, I what, I, what I fear has happened and what is, is, is actually still happening? What's that? Is <clears throat> in large part, many view the Bible as like a, basically a collection of fairy tales. It's a fairy tale. Right. It's a, it's a fairy. That's how people view it. Yeah, that's, that's how too many people view it. And if I may, do you know why? Rather, rather than as a guide, then rather than as a guide or something from which to gain wisdom. Do right. you know why? why? They feel that it's a fairy tale because the way it's taught. It's the way it's taught by white people is the white people see things as mythological, as a fairy tale, as a story. Just like they think the serpent in the garden was an actual talking literal snake. That's not what the serpent in the garden was. Mm -hmm. The serpent in the look up the definition of serpent. Caught on the one car. This is this is common sense. We talking about common sense. Yeah. Do do snakes talk? No, in, in your phone. Caught on the one car. Do snakes talk? Snakes do not talk. It's common sense when when you stop trying to view the Bible through the eyes of another nation, uh -huh. you will understand the Bible. That's right. Because the Bible is written in metaphors, just like how uh -huh. our music. How our musicians, they rap and sing metaphorically, like Anita Baker talking about the rapture. You know what that's about. You know what I mean? It ain't talking about when Christ come back. It's talking about something else. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everything, do you got it? Turn on the one car, sir. Read, read that definition of serpent. The definition of serpent. Uh, a noxious creature that creeps, hisses, or stings. Uh, devil, a treacherous person. A, a what? Treacherous person. That's all it's talking about. It's talking about a lying, deceiving person. Mm -hmm. It's not talking about mm -hmm. a snake. It's not talking about an animal. Right. If I called you a rat, then what would you say I'm calling you? A dirty person. A snitch. A dirty line. <laughs> right. That's how we talk. Mm -hmm. When a white man reads that and teaches it to you, he teaches you that snakes talk. So your viewpoint of the Bible is this is like a fairy tale. Now, one of the things with which I struggle because I'm doing try quite a bit of work in politics, as you guys probably know. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, it's because, because of the uh, political party here in, in uh, Travis County that I, I was able to finally get to get the show because I started start off the Trailer Park show and then we evolved into our own show. But my thing, my goal is to reach not just the black community but to all communities and to and to make the whole community better because I believe that if we return to like common sense and start doing things in a more commonsensical way, that we could get back closer to work, doing the things we need to be doing and saying the things we need to be saying. Because I believe the right talk is the right, the right, the right thinking. Right thinking is the right action. If you do the invasion the right action, you do the right thing. Right. And it's like, <clears throat> it's like the idea of doing a right thing is a wrong idea. Right, right. See, it makes perfect sense. What, what's crazy about it is, why you, you how we want to love and make sure that everyone else is taken care of. Have you ever seen a lion running with a cheetah? Ecclesiasticus. Now they both cats. 13, 15, but have you ever seen them running together? 13, 15, no. Have you ever seen a cougar running with a panther? 
No, you don't see cougars go out and kill antelopes and bring it back so that the panther and the cougars can eat. That is nature. That's natural. That's yeah. common sense. Common sense is to take care of home first. Right. We've lost common sense. Right. We are trying to take care of everybody else. And when somebody says something like America first, which is home first, right. something's wrong with them. Right. They're See, deranged. But this is not our home. Mm -hmm. We didn't choose to come. Every other That's foreigner right. that came to this land, they chose to come here. Mm -hmm. They bought a ticket. They bought a, a plane. They got on a plane. They got on a boat. They came over here on their own free will. We came over here on slave ships. We didn't choose to come here. This is not our home. America is not the place we chose to come. This is the place we were forced to come to. You got that scripture for me? Kind of the one Ecclesiasticus? Kind of the one what you got? Ecclesiastes, this is the King James Apocrypha. Ecclesiastes chapter 13, verse 15. Every beast loveth his like, and a man loveth his neighbor. Every beast loveth his like. Like him. Right. Every the Lord gave us uniforms. Come on. This is your this is our uniform. Uh -huh. Why are we passing the ball to the people on the other team? Why are we trying to make sure that that why why would LeBron James throw the ball to um what's the boy's name? Stephon uh, Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Yeah. They're not on the same team. We don't understand that we actually have enemies. Read what you got right there. All right. Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68, and it reads, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Mm -hmm. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Mm -hmm. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto your friends. Unto your mm -hmm. enemies. Your co-workers. Unto your enemies. These people that we were sold to are our enemies. Mm -hmm. We have to get that through our head. We got to get it through our head that the people that we are looking up to, trying to love, trying to coexist with, they are your what? Enemies. They're your enemies according to the Bible. So every beast loveth his like. Every man should love his own kind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To, to say somebody's racist is very, it's really not a smart statement to make. Because if I'm a pianist, then what does that mean? I'm proficient mm -hmm. in playing the mm -hmm. piano. If I'm a percussionist, I'm good at playing drums. If I'm a racist, then I love my people. So it's not a bad thing to love your own. That's actually common sense. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's what we've gone away from. Act from actually the simple things. Animals never strayed away from this. Lions love lions. They only run with the lions. Buffaloes run with buffaloes. You'll never see a, a Doberman pitcher and a pit bull running the street together because they are not the same. I always say, say on a personal level that African Americans, in the, way, the way I would view them in some respects, are the strangest animals on the planet. To me, they are the only animals on the planet that trust something not like itself before it trusts something for itself. Right. And as a man who's worked in a legal profession for 40 years, I can tell you that's true. That's right. It, it, as a black lawyer, the walk, black person right, right past your door and go in a white lawyer's office. I've seen it. Be because they are more comfortable trying to please their oppressor than trying to work with their brother. Right. That's all it is. It's a slave mentality. It's you just want to, you want him to see you as a good person because you have looked up to him for so long. We've been, look, we've been looking up to the white man for over 400 years. Mm -hmm. And he's always said we were bad, we were ignorant, we were killers, we were mean, we were dumb. So you wanna go to school to show him you're not dumb. You wanna be, you wanna be in your family's life to show you're not a bad one. You wanna get a job to show him you're not lazy. It's not because you wanna take care of your family, mm -hmm. it's because you wanna please society. It's in, it's in reaction to something. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. If I may, Salaki, I just want to make a point out of what you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, you know, over the years, so-called white man has put our people in so much depression and, and, and oppression and, and, and depression, and we don't have anything to give them. This is what I'm saying. But now, because like a white person, they can, they can give you a house, make your house. They can, they can give you a boat. They can give you a car. 
right? They have material, big material things to give us. The only thing that blacks, Latinos, Native Indians have to give them, Mike, is a how you doing or a smile or here, or here they come, let me open up the door for them or let me be real nice to them because we can't give them anything. If I may. Go ahead. Well, can I just say something, please? Yeah. Can your dog show you love? Mm. No. Your dog can't do nothing but come when you tell him to come. But can you show your dog love? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can feed him. You can bathe him. You can do... We can't hate the white man. Like, we... It's, it's no that we... I mean, it's no way that we can show them love. Right. We're not in a predicament to show them love. We're not in a position to be able to do that. We're not in the position to fire... A, uh, or hire a white man to show, to get him and feed his family. But he's in the position to do us and right. feed our family and make, put us in a better position. But they choose not to. Right. So what we have to do is show each other love because a lot of people say black people have a crab in the bucket mentality. They say we always trying to pull each other down. We don't want to see each other rise. We want to see each other grow. Well, what's the natural habitation for a crab? Is it a bucket? Nope. No. We need to find out who put us in the bucket and where the bucket came from. You understand? Why did the, where did the bucket come from? Bucket, crabs don't, crabs are not born in buckets. So that's right. what you need to find out. How did you get in this position? The reason our people kill, rob, and all that, it's not because we want to, it's because of oppression. Right. Mm -hmm. So if we look out for ourselves and take care of ourselves, we will be a better people. But we need, that, that, to me, that suggests that we need more self-love. That's exactly what right. we need. Because in the process of loving other nations, we've lost our self-respect. And not only from each other, but from other nations. Because the other nations don't respect us. Because we are a nation that don't know who we are. Right. And we don't know your nationality and your bloodline, where you come from. You end up saying that you're African-American from mm -hmm. two different continents, like Officer Yatazak was saying. Right. right? So, so the Africans, they're like, why are you trying to be like us? You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then we're trying to do like the white man. Why, why, why is our communities robbing, stealing, and killing? Look at that. Why? Because the white man, he robs, steals, and kills. Here's the point, though. He gets away with it. And when he gets away with it, we look at it like, well, you know, we might as well do it. How do I know? Because Lil Pookie in the hood went from a rap name. Now he's Al Capone, you know, mm -hmm. you know, and Lil Data, he went in the hood and he changed his name, you know, to another Italian mobster name because America gets their crimes off of us and wins and takes up the home and counts the bread. We look at it like, well, I want to try to come up. So the only way to do it, I can't mess with that white man. I'm going to look at my own people. Right. Because I know they can't do nothing to tell or do anything. So... We rob and steal from each other. So after a while, what happens? That slave takes on the same characteristics as the as slave a, as master. A, as a master. Right. Most definitely. And that's why we do that. Go ahead, Austin. And, and what, what he's saying is so powerful because every nation, when they're enslaved, they, they start robbing. When the white man was poor, Come on. he Talk started the, what, um, the, the Irish started all of those games. When the Chinese man was poor, he started the triad. Right. Every time some people are poor, they start to make some type of form or click right. because they have to eat. They got to feed mm -hmm. their people. Right. We are doing all of this because we are hungry. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's what's wrong with our people. And we're miseducated. That's it. Big time. Big time. Mm -hmm. And, and that, 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 that's another disturbing thing to me. It's like, it's as though <coughs> I see uh, lately, let's see, let's see if I think Trump is in a... In a, in a urine contest with LeBron about some mess. And uh, I'm thinking, and everybody, everyone gets upset. And um, I respect Trump. I don't know necessarily like everything he says, but I support him. And I, I bet $100 on him. When he's come down yesterday, I'm still trying to collect my money. <laughs> but but uh, he, he's, just, he's just straight. He's just, I think he's just too real for people. One thing I can he'll, say, he'll say, he'll say, he'll say what he didn't say. He'll say what he feels like saying, how he feels like saying, when he feels like saying. If I may, yeah. One thing I can say about Donald Trump is Donald Trump cares about his people. That's right. He cares about his people, and I can respect that. He's going to make sure, you know. One thing Donald Trump doesn't have to fake and act like he's a, uh, you know, 
He, he's always been rich. So, you know, other presidents come in and they have to put on a certain facade to get in. He's, he's good without being a president. Right. So he's pretty much doing what he wants to do. And one thing that Donald Trump has done is showed us how racism never died. A lot of our people, when Obama was in office, that was the ticket for black people to think racism is dead. Right. You see, they, you see, they gave us a, a black president. Donald Trump came and let us know racism is alive and well. Yeah, that's right. And that's, I mean, Donald Trump is, has been great for our, for, the, for our nation, to bring our nation back. Because our purpose in the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge is to, is to set up the kingdom before our king returns. Right. And a king has to have a nation in order for him to rule. You can't just say you're a king if nobody's under you. <laughs> you gotta have a nation to return to. Right. So if you just if you Christian, Muslim, Egyptologist, Jehovah's Witness, atheist, and all that, that's not a nation. Those are beliefs. Those are religions. You have to be. You have to stop claiming to be black and claim your tribe, mm -hmm. because that's what you really are. You are. Who are the richest people in the earth right now? The Jewish man. You are actually a Jew. He, that is identity theft. He's living as you. <laughs> and you claim a color over your tribe. If you ask any Jewish man, what tribe are you from? He's going to say, what do you mean? Because he don't know. He's a convert. Mm -hmm. White men don't have an identity. Right. And now we've taken on his clout of not having an identity. What I've always found most disturbing is, uh, just for me, is I, re I, re I, I, I can actually read. And I realized pyramids were being built by people who looked like more like me and looked more like Kirk Douglas. Right. And so these people were, were doing all what should have been impossible engineering feats 2,000 years ago. Can I? And, and, and to me, that, 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 is, that is what we as a people need to understand and understand, try to draw on the depth of that intelligence. Right. Not this bull crap that's going on now. Sir, the same people that built them pyramids, built the Eiffel Tower, built the, the Trade Center, right. built down to every downtown building you see. Wall in China. The, wall, the Great Wall in China. <laughs> we are the architects on this earth. Right. We build every street, every freeway, every building you see on this earth. We did that. The same people that built up Egypt. When we left Egypt, what, what great happened from Egypt? Is there anything great? Egypt is <laughs> no a lie. desert. It's, that's what it's going. That's what it can be if we all separate. Do you see? Did you see that um, when those Hispanic brothers at that um, at that uh, chemical plant walked out? Mm -hmm. They all walked out. Ice came in there, took a couple of Hispanic brothers. Every Hispanic in the plant left shut down the plant. Some black dude that was recording was like, man, look at this, man, look how they, these essays. That's what we could do as a nation. If we would stop being so selfish, self-centered, only thinking about ourselves, and start looking at the bigger picture, which is your brother and your sister, then we could make America crumble. Because what's supporting America's economy? What revenue do we have supporting it? Is it gold back in our dollar? No. We are in debt with all the countries almost. What's supporting them is free labor, us. They owe China. So they'll say, well, I can't pay you back your money, but I can let you put businesses in our slaves' neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. And then you can put your business over there, you can make your money and send it back over there and make triple. Mm -hmm. That's what they that's what they doing. So when you look in the black community, you got the Chinese nail shop, the Chinese hair place, you got the dollar store that's ran by the Chinese, you got the gas station ran by the Arabs. And they're selling all the beauty supplies. They're selling all the beauty supply. They selling everything to our people and then they're taking our money back to their community. And when we want to go and have fun and enjoy ourselves, where do we go? To their communities. All right. It's Robin Hood. It's the rich taken from the poor. Right. 
And that's because we don't have self-love. We have self-hate. And we were taught that from white people because white people hate each other. How did we find out about Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump? <laughs> from each from them from each other. We found out he didn't pay his taxes because of her. You know what I mean? <laughs> that that's that is what we are starting to follow now. Go ahead, what you got? So lock you. <clears throat> this is the book of Psalms, chapter 83. I'm gonna start at two, verse two. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they have hate, Salaki, so and they that hate thee have lifted up they head up the head. Verse three. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Against who? Against thy people. Read. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Verse four. They have said, come, and let us cut them off from being a nation. Let us cut them off from being what? A nation. Read. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. You call yourself black. We call ourselves Dominican, Puerto Rican, Haitian, Cuban, Mexican, Native American. Mm -hmm. But we don't call ourselves what? Israel. The name of Israel. We don't call it ourselves that anymore. That was crafty counsel. Mm -hmm. That was done. Who's sitting at the table representing blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans at the UN? No one. Nobody. Whatsoever. And that's why these nations, as you just stated, brother just stated, when you go out to eat or, you know, your local restaurant in, in your own neighborhood, you have Chinese and Japanese selling dog, rat, cat, and things like that to us. Then you go out to the store and you got the Arab at the store. Like, why don't we own anything in our own neighborhoods and the distribution that import exports coming out of the seas? It's because of, of the plot that's done against uh, uh, our people. You see what I'm saying? And they're all in cahoots together. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm saying when America destroys Japanese and China, and China and things like that, and Hiroshima and Nagasaki, he makes deals with them and tells them they can come over here. He'll pay them money. But at the same time, what they can do is juice the economics out of blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians. Right. That's also part of the deal. That's why they own the stores. You know the only black-owned businesses we have in our community? Barbecue, beauty shops, and... Uh... And Christian churches. That's right. You do shopping churches. That's it. Pretty much. Now, give me that article. Now, now watch this. Let me. This we got an article right, right here. We're gonna read this article. Don't sign Christ. This article lets you know who's making America great again. You got it. Come on, come on. Religion is worth more than Google and Apple combined. What? Religion is worth more than Google and Apple combined. Read that. It says. Religion in the United States is worth 1.2 trillion a year. No, million. Trillion a year. Billion? <laughs> trillion a year. That's where your money going for your schools, your health care center, your, your um, everything that you're trying to do mm -hmm. in, your, in black community, it's in religion. It's in the church. Mm -hmm. It's in wh where your pastor's at. Keep reading. Making it equivalent to, fi to the 15th largest national national economy in the world, mm -hmm. according to a study. Religion is the 15th largest economy. It's like a whole country in itself. Religion. Keep reading. Kind of the one kind. Uh, it says the faith economy has a higher value. The, what kind of economy? The faith economy <laughs> has a higher value uh -huh. than combined revenues of the top 10 technology companies in the USA. What, what's, the, what's the name it? Uh, Salakia. So the money's in the church. That's where the money at. So we can't say that we don't have money in our community. The money is in our community. It's just not being used to benefit. The because our watchmen are blind. They were all ignorant, dumb dogs who could never have enough. Right. They are and greedy. They it. That's it. Out of you, mm -hmm. they, they, got, they making more money than Google, Apple, Amazon, all put together, the religion of our community. That's right. Like, I mean, we we can't make this up. This is this is a fact. But you know, you know what? The, I guess the, the challenge of that would be, uh, if if the churches have that have that kind of economic potential, it's got the rest on my but they are being misled, and being misled and causing our people to act to their detriment, it does no good. Right. It's, 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 a, it's a nothing, it's a right. zero. That's, that's the problem. The problem is, 
we got to get these churches out of our community. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, give me Second Thessalonians. All right. Falling away first. I Come want on, that one. Right. Give, yeah. give me you, what you got. I got Jeremiah 23 and 1. Well, give me that first. <laughs> call it a one call. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, mm -hmm. says the Lord. Says who? Says the Lord. Destruction. That's what woe means. Woe means destruction to these pastors that scatter and, and, and destroy his sheep. Mm -hmm. That falling away? Right. Come on, come on. Read that verse. All right. Read that verse right there, brother. All right. Here we go. This is Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse three. And it reads, let no man deceive you by any means mm -hmm. for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. Christ can't come back until we fall away from these religions and come back to our culture mm -hmm. because Christ, the Bible, the most high never gave us a religion to follow. He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments because we are a people. Right. We are a nation. So now let me let me let me put this in perspective. What nation does not have a land? Black, Hispanic, and Native American. Right. What nation does not have a government? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What nation does not have a language? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What right. nation does not have an army? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Now we fight for everybody else. We're in everybody else's army. We make America great. We make everybody else great. But what are we doing for ourselves? People cannot call us selfish. We make you the best country. We've made Egypt great, Assyria great, Babylon great, Persia great, Greece great, right. Rome great. Now we're making America great. Right. And we've never made ourselves great. We looking out for everybody else except our own. It's time for us to fall away. All right. That's, 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 go ahead. Except there come a falling away first mm -hmm. and that man of sin that be spirit revealed. Of, that spirit of sin. That man of sin. That demon. That man of sin be revealed. You have to know that you have an enemy and you got to know that the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's the right. Of Christ, the son of perdition. That's, that's the man of sin. He's the deceiver, the liar, the adversary that has destroyed our people and taught you that you were black. Taught us that we were African Americans. Right. Taught us that homosexuality is lawful because he says it is. Taught us that pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster is the new white meat. It's a delicacy. You can just eat it. It's good. And we are so good at anything that we do, we become the best sinners. That's right. <laughs> Instead of us eating a couple of shrimp, we have shrimp platters. <laughs> Instead of us eating a couple of crawfish, we have a crawfish boil. Right. We take it to the max. That's right. The mm -hmm. max. So in other words, we have to get back inside, inside ourselves. Our culture. That's what's missing yeah. because we've adopted everybody, everybody else's, else's culture. Stuff. Right. We're taking on everybody else's stuff. We're taking on everybody else's stuff when we should be following our own stuff. Mm -hmm. Read that and give me devil. Okay. And, that, yeah. and I just want to just make it super clear because he brought it out. And see, when you say the white man, so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of, it's like, oh, how can that happen? This is, this is, this is why Officer Yatazak said that, right? It says, when you go into the dictionary, and you and you look up the word deceiver. Dece hold on, hold on. Do you have it first? Con. Let uh, him read his definition first, and then you read your definition. Count on one count. Watch this. Read that. An extremely wicked person mm -hmm. uh, of great evil, a person of notable energy, recklessness, a dash in spirit. Also, one is who's mischievous. Is that Diablos? Uh, oh, so lucky. Go ahead. Read what you got. Okay. Deceiver. The definition of deceiver, someone who leads you to believe something that is not true. That's what devil means. Devil means a liar, a deceiver, an adversary. And it's not a spirit. Right. Read what it got. Kind of, kind of. Apply to a man. Apply to a spirit. To apply to a man. A demon. 
apply to a man mm -hmm. who by opposing the cause of God, that they may be a act the part of the devil or side to him. He, or opposes, side with him. he opposes God, right? That's just in the definition. Read, finish reading what you got. Okay. The son of perdition. This mm. is verse four. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse four. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. Definition and the Bible. By definition and the Bible, the white man is the devil. That's what you got to understand. That you have an enemy. Your enemy is standing right on the other side of the table, smiling in your face, right. all the time, want to take your place, <laughs> backstabbers. <laughs> That's what we do. That's right. Now that we've identified our enemy, you don't have to go out. We're not teaching you to hate, to kill them. Yeah. We're not teaching you to do anything wicked. Right. Because the Bible said that vengeance is the Lord's. Right. All we're teaching now is to recognize your enemy. Deal with him on the business aspect like he deals with you. And understand, just understand what your situation is. Exactly. That's it. Because it's a war. It's warfare. It's spiritual warfare. That's exactly what it is. And we've been fighting this warfare with no gloves. They've been fighting with no gloves, but we've been hand wrapped gloves, head peas, We And they <laughs> fighting right. us with no gloves. Right. They bare, kn they, they, bare they, knuckles. They got brass knuckles on. Exactly. And we still trying to get them love. Yeah. That's right. And this is another trick he used. Read that. This is 1 Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. And laid open the book of the law. He laid open this book. And what did he do? Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. That's why you see a white Jesus on the That's picture. That's right. That's why you see the white disciples on the 12 disciples picture. That's right. Because they did they make you think that this is the Lord. The Lord is a white man. You know what I'm saying? So now you got to listen to him because Jesus was white. Right. Your savior, your king is mm -hmm. a white man. So that's why God loves us less. That's what we think. God loves us the most. That's why he's punishing us because we're his children. They're not getting punished because, like we said earlier, mm -hmm. your mother will whoop you because you her son. And right. she gave you rules to follow that you mm -hmm. didn't follow. Right. 147. Psalms 147. Yeah. So that's what we're teaching. Right. And I just want to finish that. Oh, yeah, finish it. Okay, this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4. Who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Who's on the earth right now claiming to be God? <laughs> Forgiving sins, yeah. sitting in the temple of God. Got people kissing his ring. Got people bowing down to him like he's somebody important. Right. The Pope. Uh, yeah. The white man. Mm -hmm. I, always, I always had a problem with that. I said, Don't to walk off. Didn't that make sense? How, how are you going to confess to another man? Who put him in charge? That's, that's, that's what the scripture just said. Mm -hmm. The man of sin is the one that's going to do that. That's. Now that you can recognize the enemy, you can know how to fight. Right. Spiritually. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And Mike, Mike Lee, you need to get in class. That's right. You know That's right. right. You need to get in class because you got the spirit on you. You do. You, you, you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's just that it's, you know, you, you in the system. And you need to go ahead and get in class so you can know how to fight. That's that's what time it is, Mike Lee. I know. You know what I'm saying? You got your you got your shades on. You wearing all black and stuff. You know what I'm saying, Mike Lee? You need to go in. Man, and get I'm just class. being me, man. That's that, and that's just, what makes it even guy. more I'm spiritual, right? I'm just a guy. That makes it even more spiritual that you're just doing what what compels you. Well, you gotta be you, man. You, you should be true to yourself, right? You can lie to the world, not anybody you want. You shouldn't lie to yourself. Right. About right. yourself. That's right. Be real with yourself. Yeah. But uh, I want to thank you guys for really being on the show. As I say, I, every time I have you guys on, I learn, which means I'm going to have to have you back here because I like learning. Well, we can have us on here weekly. We, we, we about it. That's right. Y'all right. um, know, y'all know, y'all know, you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's important that the community get to know what, what, what your organization is about and what you're about knowledge. And you, it's not about hating white people. It's not about hating anything. It's too much to do. Hate, hate, hate takes 
takes too much time and energy. Too much energy. It takes you away from what you need to be focusing on. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it's about bringing the it's about bringing the whole community together. Cause we're all on the same planet. Last time I checked, I think I'm on Earth. I guess I am. For the day, I guess. Right. I go with it. Well, one thing about hate is hate is something you act out. Mm -hmm. White people hate black people. They kill us every day. You, I bet you we get off this show right now and get on, get on and log in to some news channel, some black man was killed by a white man. We don't have a history of killing white people. Never in history have we been the people to kill them. So they hate us. We don't, have, we don't show hate toward them. But you know who does hate them? It's going to blow your mind. <laughs> the Lord hates them. Lord, that's right. Give, give me Romans 9. Give me Romans 9, yep. and then give me Obadiah. I know, I know that's not a good thing, Without, even before he reads. I know that, that's not a good thing. That's, that, because of the, I'm going to tell you why he hates them. And it ain't just because, you know, they color. Read what you got in Obadiah. Give me Obadiah first. Who got Obadiah? All right. Uh, so count on the one count. Give me Obadiah first, and then we're going to read Romans. So that it makes sense. I know we're running out of time. Read in Obadiah. Give me verse nine. Count out of one kind. It's the book of Obadiah, chapter one, verse nine. And they and thy mighty men. Start at three ten. Count out of one kind. This is Obadiah, chapter one, verse ten. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. The Lord hates them because they are violence against us. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's. Our father hates the misjustice, the way we've been treated. So because of that, what did he say? Count on the one kind. says, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Uh -huh. That's it. The, so the Lord is going to punish them. Read verse 15 before you, do, before you move on. Count on the one kind. Verse 15. Right. Verse 15. For and, the wait, wait, and not just them, not just the white man. Keep reading. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathens. Most of the heathens. All the heathens. See, that's, that ain't Christianity. That ain't a religion. That's a way of life. That is real war. You understand? The Lord is going to give us real justice that's in this right. earth. We've never seen that before. Right. All the heathens. Read. Count out of one con. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. What goes around comes, comes around. around. Everybody said, but don't nobody want it to come back. Yes, yeah, I said payback is so. It so uh -huh. is. Now give me give me Rome, um, Romans and give me Isaiah fourteen one and two. And I got to I got to give I got to give Mike Lee this one so he can go home with some good <laughs> to sleep on. Isaiah fourteen. This the one's gonna make you sleep good at night. <laughs> But read that one, I, Romans, I a, Romans, give me Romans. I didn't have Romans, I had, I had, I had, so I had also give something me that. else for you, sir. All right. This is Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. Look at Romans, yes. chapter 9, verse 13. 14. Yeah, you're right, 13, so like it. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, he loved. But Esau have I hated. Esau is the biblical name for the white man. That's the one that sold his brothers in uh, the white man. Inheritance, man. right? And he, he still brother's inheritance? He sold he, it. He, he, no, he gave he, it away. He, he, put, right. his, he put the, the, the thing Jacob on Jacob right? is the one that did that because it was prophesied before he came out that the second son would get the inheritance and the first son would serve him. Mm -hmm. So the mother knew that because it was told to her. So she made sure her son got that blessing. She made sure her brother got that blessing mm -hmm. and not that other thing. That's right. Now, give me um, I got a whole lot, I got a whole lot Isaiah, left from Sunday school, man. I, I know, because right. Sunday school don't teach the Bible. They make it a mystery. Of course, this was in the 50s. <laughs> give me this right here, and okay. we go. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Our people. And will yet choose Israel. The, nor the, the northern kingdom, which is Hispanics and Native Americans. That's right. And set them in their own land. We're going to go to the New Jerusalem. And the, and the strangers shall be joined with them. The other nations will be joined with us. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to be needing water, food, and clothes, and they're going to get it from us. That's right. Read. And the, verse 2. And the people shall take them. We're going to take them. 
and bring them to their place. And bring them to our place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. What do you do? What is a possession? Some you own. Some you own. Read. Will possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. We got to wind up here. I want to thank you, gentlemen, for being on the show. Of course, we're going to have to come back and do, do some more stuff because I have much more learned, as I said. And hopefully, it'll help, my, help the audience as much as it helps me. I appreciate you being here, brother. No problem. Next time. Yes, sir. Good All seeing right. you again. Pleasure's mine, man. Good to meet you. Man. Good to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Praises to the most high, I ain't like most guys Eyes on the future but I learned from a boat ride Tribe of Benjamin inherited on both sides Background Jamaican mistreated and I know why I'm an Israelite, die for my Israelites Blood of the Israelites, cry for my Israelites Going through it cause we're Israelites Quam Yashra Allah to all my Israelites I'm an Israelite, die for my Israelites Blood of the Israelites, cry for my Israelites Israelites, Quam Yasha Allah to all my Israelites. Quam Yasha Allah, sons of the power, rise from the ghetto when Satan won us devoured. The seal of the Lord ain't found in church towers. Never dying on my knees like no coward. Wanna be an Israelite, you gon' need more than fringes. You gon' need to show you a proven get in them scriptures. Oh, I forgot to mention, traumatized from the lynching. Homicide, we the victim. I'm a start ain't the ending. Kids with PTSD, suffering symptoms, never getting treatment, something he gotta sleep with. Stockholm syndrome so long, it ain't a secret. That's why I die for them.